Howdy, howdy, gamer people. Well, this is it. The final episode. Of... Piano. Before we go over to Basil's house, let's go do some things. I advise you go ahead and get all the exploring out that you can. Because we have... Because this is probably the last chance you'll get to explore all over the place. As for me, I frankly don't really have much to do. Oh! Why are you in the middle of the street? Oh, I guess you're not in the middle of the street. Was that Basil's grandma? Could be. Oh, the recycle path is here. Let's see what he has to say. Brothers and sisters, we must all accept that we are trash. Yet, although we may be trash, as long as we remain biodegradable, we may yet be saved. Whatever you say. Well... We've done pretty much everything, it seems. Here's the old hangout spot again. So this is your hangout spot with your new friends, huh? Yeah, so what? Uh, nothing really. Can't blame you. It is a pretty cool place. The lake's a little murkier now, but I remember we used to swim here all the time. Looks the same as it always did. You just had lower standards. <laughs> maybe so, maybe so. So, why do we stop swimming here again? You don't remember? Mario stopped wanting to come here after the time Sunny almost drowned. Oh man, I completely forgot about that. Kel and I used to do tricks jumping off that statue. When we asked Sunny to try it, he froze up and fell into the lake. Do you remember Sunny? It all happened so fast. And even though we were already in the water, it wasn't us who saved you. No, it was Mari. She dived in before you could even react. I'll never forget that moment she carried you out of the lake. And when you finally opened your eyes, she fell on top of you and burst into tears. I'd never seen her that way before. Mari really loved you, Sonny. You know that, don't you? Oh wow, look! It's like her friends hanging out there, except... Not really. <laughs> when times were better. Let's have a picnic here. I love how you can have a picnic with your friends here. Hey, Aubrey! What do you want, Cal? I've been thinking. We get into fights all the time, huh? Yeah, we do. But even after everything, we're still friends, right? Yeah, I guess we are. Huh, isn't that weird? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> oh, you two. That just means you two are really comfortable around each other. I'm a little jealous you two can be so candid even after all this time. I think that's something really special. Really? I was just about to say that I find it kind of annoying. <sighs> You're such an idiot. <laughs> ah, man. They're such goopers. But yeah, there's a lot to do with this episode. We're going to be going through pretty much all the endings. Not all of them. There is a fourth ending, but we won't be doing that one this time. Hey, hamburgers! Hey, champs! Here's one burger for each of you, as promised. Wow. It's been a long time since I've seen all of you hanging out. Reminds me of when you were all still children. <laughs> Sunny, good luck with moving away tomorrow. Oh, he was right there. <laughs> 
Remember to visit every now and then. I know Kel is going to be lonely without you. Aw, Dad. Stop it, you're embarrassing me. Yeah! <laughs> Here's a lesson from your old man. As you get older, it's going to get harder and harder to make friends. So if you think you have a good one, it's important to cherish them. Friends can be for life, you hear me? That's a good lesson. Sally pulled on your nose. <laughs> That's cute. We'll pet Hector again. And we found another coin. Nice. Let's head on down to the places. Oh, how'd it go? This is the first spot where I met my crush. I hope he comes by soon. Let's throw another coin. Let's buy another capsule item. Ayo! A green slinky. Is that trademarked? Nah. I mean, what else would you call that kind of toy, anyway, other than a slinky? A green hand. Let's do it again. A pink ball. We should probably stop in case we have some other stuff we need to buy. But I think we've bought just about everything, honestly. Hey! Look who it is! Maybe I judge my family's business too fast. I've been running from this for so long, but I don't seem to be good at anything else. Is it possible that I, the Maverick, could be good at baking? Entirely possible. Let's see... I was looking for something in here, wasn't I? Oh yeah, never mind, I meant to go in Geno's, not this place. I'm sure there are lots of fun interactions in there. Let's see. One final CD! At least, I thought it was the final CD. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12? Yeah, there should be 12 of them. Do we have to play all the CDs in order to actually get the achievement? I guess we'll give it a shot. We played Mary's CD, Otherworldly CD. I don't remember if we played Dynamic. This is a good one. I'm not gonna play them, uh... I'm not gonna play through all of them in their entirety. I'm just gonna see if I can get the achievement. We played Brutal CD. Only a couple more. Ooh, this one's pleasant. Huh. Do we miss one? Cover of Not So Empty House. Let me see. Well, gamers, I hope we didn't miss a CD. Hmm. This might prove to be a bit of a problem. Surely we didn't miss one, did we? Maybe there are 13 CDs. Hmm. Excuse me for a second. I'll be right back. Oh, okay. So there is one final CD, and I know exactly which one it is. Sorry about that. I had to look it up for a second, because I was like, wait a minute, did I miss a CD? Hey, flowers are so pretty. 
And there's not basil there. Well, that was interesting. Let's go down and see. Frankly, I'm not going to try and spend too much time here, because we've got other things we need to see, too. But I do want to try and get all the stuff done. I bet everyone's going to be at the housewarming party, though. I wonder if that painting ever got finished. I would like to give it a shot and see. Step back, you omnipotent worm! I almost maimed you! My condolences. My time in the arena has left me on the edge. I'm a bit of a gladiator, as it were. Is this the same dialogue as before? I think it is. <laughs> yeah. Weird guy. Looks like... Well... Let's go... We still have the steak knife for Martha. No, we don't. Oh, there's still something we can do in the park. I almost minced min Mincy. Back at the park again, Mincy? What are you going to draw this time? Hey, Cal and Sunny. I'm not drawing anything this time. I'm just sitting here and enjoying the breeze. That's good. You've been working hard drawing all weekend. It's important to relax, too. Yeah, I'm still really anxious, though. I hope my portfolio will be good enough to get into art school. Being an artist has always been my dream, but sometimes I get in my own way. Thanks for everything these past few days. I think I really needed it. Huh? What did I do? Heh <laughs> It's nothing really, but... I guess? Just telling me to keep going and stuff. I feel like I need a little push sometimes, know what I mean? Hmm. Not really. <laughs> but I'm so glad I could help you out somehow. Heh <laughs> I thought you wouldn't, but that's okay. Um, here's a sketch I made of you guys. It's not much, but I hope you like it. No way! Is this really for us? Wow, this is so amazing! I look better in this drawing than in real life! Thank you so much, Mincy. You've made your number one and number two fans very happy. No problem. You two are such a funny pair. If everyone had friends like you, I bet the world would be a much happier place. Wow. That's the nicest anything anyone's ever said to us, huh, Sonny? You hope you get into art school, Mincy. Don't forget us when you become a famous artist. Heh <laughs> You don't have to worry about that. I definitely won't forget you guys. Not ever. Let's see if we can see what that drawing looks like. I gotta see. Oh, that's so good! I love it! Swing again. I work at the news station in the city, but sometimes I drive to faraway park during my breaks. There's just something really relaxing about this place. You said it. Well, with that done, let's go to the housewarming party. Housewarming party! And two of the scooter people are here. Hi, everyone. Come on in. The party's already started. And there's an achievement for that, too. Hey, it's you. Darn. I guess this party isn't as cool anymore. <laughs> Just kidding. Nerd. Anyways, Aubrey told me we're moving away tomorrow. 
That sounds kind of sucky, but I'm sure you'll be okay. Oh, that wasn't me grumbling. That was my stomach. Better start on this food before it's all gone. <laughs> Parties aren't really my thing, but this is kind of nice. Hmm. And I guess it's true what they say. Food always tastes better when you cook it yourself. Yep. I haven't been to a party like this in a long time. We have parties in college, too, but they're not as, um, quaint. I'm glad everyone's enjoying the food, though. It's the culmination of our hard work. Yeah, I'm not a big party animal myself. I like quaint, I like quaint stuff, if I'm being honest. Well, today's our last day together, huh, Sonny? It's nice that we have a chance to celebrate with everyone before you head off for New Horizons. Just enjoy yourself and relax for now. We're in good company. Salad. An old pie. Big old chicken roast. TV remote. <laughs> Delicious cookies. Welcome to our housewarming party. Please, make yourself at home. But just for a few hours. <laughs> ah. Quality time with my two kiddos. Who could ask for more? Aw, oh, yeah! Free food! Feel that. Please relax and have some food. You can stay as long as you like. Reasonably. That's nice. A yummy cake slice. An unfinished plate of food. An unfinished bag of potato chips. Wow, this was nice. A mirror. That was fun. I like the housewarming party. Well, I guess we can leave now. Let's leave. Alright, let's see, what else? The housewarming party is done. We'll have to go back to the cemetery one more time. Yes, let's go back one more time. Lily of the Valley. These are said to be able to ward off evil spirits and help people see a brighter future. And one more fish! The cat left a gift for you. You got a tranquil CD. You get the feeling that it's the last time you'll see that cat again. Wow. Well... Hmm. That's not a very good omen he's giving. And now that we've got the last CD, we can put it in to the... A dollar! It's your lucky day! Nice. Let's hope that, let's hope that luck lasts. <laughs> oh, there's another pinwheel there. It's a pink one. Wonder what that has to do with anything. Pink is Aubrey's color, of course. I've gotten to the stage where I question everything in this game. Let's go back to Gino's and put in the last CD, and we'll give it a listen. It'll be the last bit of respite we get before the storm. Trust me. You inserted the tranquil CD. And there's the achievement! Let's play it!
This... a cover of Pyrefly Forest. Oh, that's nice. I can hear it now. Thanks again. Next time you see me, it'll be on the big screen. Alright. Well, before we head down to see Basil, let's save. We have $32 left. There is one other thing I want to do. Let's give him five dollars. Thank you kindly. Hey bub, thanks for helping me. You've been a real friend. So, I got something special for you. Hold out your hands for me and close your eyes. A gold watch. You like it? Since you've been so gracious, I could spare you some of my wares. <laughs> That's real gold there, I swear it. That's nice. How are you liking your new gold watch? It's real gold, I tell ya. Huh, that's interesting. I never knew you actually got something from him. I don't know if the gold watch is actually something you can use. You might be able to. Still can't get over the B, the spelling B. Alright. I wonder what happens if you buy all the capsule toys. Ooh, a yellow slinky. A purple hand. That's awesome. We can go five more times. <gasps> we got the Chimera Keychain! Oh, that's sick! It's like the thing we saw in Headspace. That's awesome. The pink keychain? I already have each charm. There you go! I don't know if that does anything. I doubt it does. But I think it's interesting. Let's see what, what kind of things we got. So many of these. A portable cat? Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> I like how that's the thing that's in Headspace, you know? I think that's really funny. Alright. Well, I think we've gotten all the main achievements and done all the stuff. But there is one more thing I'd like to do before we go to Basil's. And that is, I want to see if that painting is ready. I just realized, Basil doesn't have a pinwheel outside his house. That's interesting. Or maybe it's the one that's outside? Though, his is yellow, not pink. I don't know. <laughs> ah, finally some peace and quiet. We'll pet the dog again. Sure. All right. Oh, thank goodness you guys came back. Is something wrong? Well, Basil's back home, but he's not talking to me. Oh no. Is there anything you can do to help? It's a bit hard to say right now. When Basil came back, he went straight to his room and locked the door. I haven't been able to get a word out of him since. Maybe he just needs some time alone, but I don't know. I'm just worried. Could you guys try talking to him? Of course. We'll do whatever we can to help. Thank you, everyone. Feel free to come in whenever you're ready. Alright, well, we're ready. We'll save here. Er, no, not yet. Basil has been all by himself recently, so I'm sure he's lonely. It's nice to know that Basil has friends who care so much about him. 
the bed is empty. Makes me sad. Hi Basil, it's Hero. I'm here with Kel, Aubrey, and Sunny. We're all here to see you. Is there anything we can do to help? We just wanted to let you know we're here. Let us know if you need anything, okay? Ah, <sighs> maybe he just needs some time to himself. I'm really sorry to bother you. Don't worry about it, Polly. We've all been there before. If I've learned anything these past few days, it's that friends should be there for each other. Hey, Basil. This is Aubrey. Just wanted to say that I'm sorry for the way I've been treating you. Will you please say something? We just want to know that you're okay. I think we should stay here for him. Yeah. Last time we all made the mistake of leaving each other when we needed each other the most. This time, we'll stay together. Polly? Do you think we can sleep here for the night? Oh. You are all so kind. Of course you can stay over. I think Basil would really appreciate that. I know it mean a lot to him. Awesome! I call the couch! Ah, this is all happening so fast. Okay then, since Kel wants the couch, everyone else can have a quilt. We have a lot of those. I'll grab them now. Hmm. Why do you get the couch? Well, duh! It's because I called it first. <laughs> Ow, that hurt! Well? Bunch of books. Most of them are about gardening and indoor plant care. Oh, you can actually check the mirror. That's intriguing. This totally won't be anything foreboding. Well? Let's see. Do you want to hang out with your friends? Let's hang out. This is nice. Wow, it got late really quickly. Hey, Sonny. I know this probably wasn't the last night in town you were expecting, but I just want you to know that even though you're moving away tomorrow, we'll always be your friends. Ugh, that's so cheesy, Hero. Hey, I'm just saying what I'm thinking. <laughs> Hero's always been such a big softy. Just like you, Aubrey. Why did you say? <laughs> it's nice to hang out like this again. I've been so busy with school and studying, I don't really have time to make friends anymore. Well, you always have us, I guess. See? I was right! Look who's the softy now! Hm. But yeah, it's true. I know we'll always be there for each other. Just like you know that Mari's still here with us, too. You know... I hope we'll be able to see Basil before you leave tomorrow, Sonny. It'd be nice to have a proper goodbye. Yeah. Ugh, man, I'm getting sleepy. <sighs> what the? Is he asleep already? Yep, that's California. That part of him hasn't changed a bit. Hey, Sonny. Thank you for everything. It's probably been tough to leave your house after all this time, but I really appreciate you for doing it for us. And hey, tomorrow's a big day. Hope you're not too worried about moving to a new place. If anything, you got us. Life gets better. You just have to stay positive. Hmm. Life gets better, huh? Hey, Sonny. After you move away, you should, like, maybe come visit once in a while or something. 
Yeah. Then we can all go out for some sandwiches. Or maybe we can all go to the park. Or the beach. Or just sit at home and watch TV. Who knows? We can do anything. Heh. <laughs> that sounds kind of nice. Do you think my new friends can come too? Of course they can, Aubrey. You didn't have to ask. The more the merrier, after all. Come on, guys. It's time to sleep already. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good night, guys. Good night, Cal. Good night, Aubrey. Good night, Sunny. See you all in the morning. All right. And here we are. We are in the void. Oh, it's actually white space. A sketchbook. It's empty. And there's Omori, the one and only. And he's watching us. Looks like we haven't got much to do, but check this light bulb. A light bulb hangs from the ceiling. Do you want to destroy it? Absolutely. We're ready for this. And notice how we've been going on and it's gotten more and more intense. Oh, and Amori just turned around at the last second. All right, the illusion has been shattered, and now we are ready to face the truth. But first, we have to face something. And now we have to face all our fears again. It's like a fear boss rush, if you will. This part's not the most exciting. But it is rather foreboding. Now we'll face the second one, which is the spider. Thank you. 
So yeah, not much to say here, honestly. Except that things are going to go crazy. This is where everything starts getting real. But we're ready for it. Alright, looks like we have one more thing to take care of. Whatever this is. Some- Oh no. Oh no. Something sways in the way- You feel like your life is in danger. I knew this wouldn't be good. Your lungs tighten up. Your heart beats out of your chest. Your fingers won't stop trembling. Yeah, it's a good thing we can't die. You hear your breathing begin to steady. You hear your heart begin to steady. You gather all your courage, and learn to overcome. <sighs> the light bulb. You got a light bulb. And I assume we're going to put this one in. Here we are. Tons of daisies. This place is pleasant. What happens if we go back? Nothing. That's good. All right. The only path we can go is forward. A picture of a tree. More trees. Basil! Alright. Got another save point. We'll save here. This area is called Basil's Meadow, by the way. Sunny, you're finally here. I've always dreamed you'd come back for me, but maybe it's too late. The truth of that day will be hard to accept. When you see it, you have to stay strong. And if you can, please forgive me. I've got Basil's photo album. There's still hope for us, because you're here. I believed in you when you came back for me, so please, believe in me too. Alright, are you ready? Because here it comes.
My only daughter is gone. And you? You are my only son. I can't lose you as well. An eerie red glow radiates from the TV. He feels strangely drawn to it. You see four kids climbing a ladder to space, five kids having a picnic, four kids riding an elevator, four kids talking to a whale, three kids and one toast, four kids talking to a giant statue, four kids playing in the forest, riding a minecart. This person is breathing steadily. This person is breathing steadily. Oh, this person is not breathing. These doors are locked. And Sonny doesn't, uh, he doesn't look so good. This person is not breathing. Sunny, don't worry. Everything is going to be okay. Mari's calendar. Today is the day of the recital. Something is preventing you from getting any closer. Oh! There goes a finger. And there goes another finger. Finger number three. I still don't understand what's up with the fingers, if I'm being honest. Now we've only got a thumb left. Okay. Oh shoot. Mm -hmm. 
Sunny is not looking great at all. Um, oh no. Oh shoot, not this again. Do you want to screw in the light bulb? The final photo. We can sit in this chair. Oh! One more. Do you want to pick up this photo? It's like we gotta put in the photos now. The truth isn't finished quite yet, though. Four more photos left. No turning back now. Not that there was any turning back to begin with, of course. One final photo.
So, there it is. That is the truth. And in case you didn't catch that, because I didn't fully catch it on my first playthrough, I will shortly explain it, and you can skip to uh, whatever timestamp I put if you don't want to have it explained. But basically, from the stress of recital, Sonny lashed out and broke his violin, and then Mari got angry at him, and then they both got into an argument, and then Sonny got so mad that he lost all his sense and pushed his sister down the stairs. When she fell to the bottom, she was dead, and he was utterly distraught. He brought her upstairs to her bed. Basil was there, he saw the whole thing. He had the idea of making it look like an accident. So, they took her downstairs, and Basil took her out to the tree, used a jump rope to tie her to it, and she was hanged from the tree. And that is the truth. Let's save. And this is the path where the three different endings truly diverge. You can do... Well, technically there are four endings, but we're not going to go for the fourth ending quite yet. We're just going to show off the three that are exclusive to the main route. The first ending is what happens whenever you go back to sleep. No one's around now. Oh. I'm so sorry, Basil. Please forgive me. Why, Basil? Why did you do it? Sonny, why does this keep happening to us? Please, Sonny, you shouldn't be seeing this. You're supposed to be moving out today, on your way to a fresh new start. We'll take care of everything here. Go on ahead. We'll be okay. I think. Why? Why am I so useless? Do you want to look in Basil's room? There is nothing here. <sighs> yeah. And now... I guess we'll go back to our house. Oh, man. I'm gonna preface by saying I've never seen this ending before. Utterly heartbreaking. Even though I knew what happened already. Uh, seeing Kel so heartbroken was gut-wrenching. Hmm? Hmm. Wonder what's in our mirror. Nothing. Because of course there's nothing. Oh, before we go to bed, we can actually go in the closet now. Lovely. Except, there is nothing here. Even though there's plainly a closet door. Oh well. We should go to bed. Nothing bad will happen. Nothing bad will happen. Nothing bad will happen. Nothing bad will happen. Absolutely nothing bad will happen.
And here we are. And here, we will stab. All right. Well, start of a new day. Let's head out, eh? Mirror one, last time. I guess this is it. We're moving out. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Your mom is waiting for you outside. Guess we gotta go now. May you live a long and happy life. Goodbye. 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 It's time to move on from this place and start anew. I guess it's time. Except there's still something we're forgetting, isn't there? Here we go. Well, that was a crummy ending, wasn't it? Basil is gone. Sunny's friends are obviously set back for the worse. And I don't like where the sirens are going with this. So yeah, not much to say here except we're at the credits. I don't think you can skip these. All in all, I'd probably say that this is the worst ending you could get. Well, close to the worst ending you could get. It's not the worst ending you could get, but this is probably one of the worst endings you could get in the normal route. Except maybe the fourth ending. Though, we'll see about that when we get there. <sighs> but yeah, I wasn't kidding when I said this game just absolutely goes nuts at the end. Like, the truth and everything, it's crazy how it completely recontextualizes everything that's happened up until this point. Definitely a game I don't think you should spoil yourself on. That is a crime, I think. And as you can see, this was made in RPG Maker.
And that's that. And wait a minute. Did I accidentally get the variant of the ending instead of the main ending? I don't know. I do know that ending has two variants. But yeah. Regardless, that's pretty much how the ending goes. Either way, it doesn't really matter, because we're not going with that ending at all. I am still a little confused. I'm pretty sure there is an alternate variant to that ending, but it's pretty much the same, so... Not really a big deal. Maybe the- I think the game was updated, maybe, since the guide was put out. Either way, we got the achievement for that ending, so that's what matters. But yeah, we're gonna go for a better ending than that, I think. And for the third time, we were asked if we want to save Basil. We'll say yes. There he is. Here he is. Ah, Sunny. It's just you. I'm glad you came. It's... it's so good to see you. It came to you that day. The day Mari died. When Mari... when Mari fell, you... you couldn't have done it. It was something behind you, wasn't it? You're a good person, Sonny. I know you're a good person. A good person wouldn't do something like that. After all this time, you've finally come back for me. But tomorrow, you're going away. How could you do that? That's mean, Sonny. That's so mean. <sighs> There's something all around us now. Can you see it, Sonny? There's no way out of this, is there? Where are you going? Stop trying to leave me! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I don't want to be alone. Not again. You can't leave me again. No, you wouldn't leave me. That's not like you, Sonny. It's something behind you again, isn't it? Ah, there it is now. Do you see it? Stay away. Stay away from Sonny. I'll protect you no matter what, Sonny. You can count on me. When something killed Mari, when something ruined all my photos, I didn't say anything. I didn't want people to think it was you, Sonny. Sonny, Sonny wouldn't do something like that. Don't worry, Sonny. I'll save you again. Something behind you. I'll get rid of it once and for all. Sonny, don't be scared. I'm scared too, but this is for the best. Everything's going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay. This does not look okay. This is not okay. tried to calm down, but her lungs fought to breathe. You want to run? You bet I do. You tried to focus, but nausea overwhelmed you.
Sonny, there's no way out of this, is there? You tried to persist, but you couldn't hold steady. You want to run. Yes, I do! You won't let me. Tell me, Sonny. Am I selfish for doing this? Sonny. Do you hate me? Please, stop it. Stop struggling, Sonny. I am... I'm so tired. Oh shoot. Now we're stressed out. The final stage of the emotion. Whew. Why? Why won't you stop? Shoot, now we lost one eye. The screen's covered up. Here we are again. Let's follow the cat. Is this... They aren't home right now. There's Basil. And there's a pinwheel. See? Beside Sunny. Hi, Sunny. You found your way back home. I don't know if I ever said this properly, but... I'm sorry for causing you so much trouble. When I gave you my photo album, I really did want you to have it. But somehow, whenever I try to help, 
I always end up burdening you instead. Even back then. All this pain we've been feeling. The guilt in our hearts. Even if you try to bottle it all up, it all comes out somehow. I want to say that everything will be okay. That we have no choice but to carry on. But that's up to you. Aubrey, Kill, and Hero are good friends. You have to trust they'll forgive us. It's hard to truly believe that, but... The photos in her album are not just photos, they're real memories. Our memories. It's proof of our friendship. Hold those pictures close, and remember what you want to protect. <laughs> I'm sorry. Looks like I'm burdening you again. The path to your future will open soon, but only you can decide what to do in the end. It's not much, but I'll be cheering you on. Aw. Now I'm gonna cry. I'm already crying. Sunny, let's make some new memories together, okay? Man. And the tears are just gonna keep flowing, don't worry. We've got some business to attend to. Don't forget, it's in the toy box. Everything looks happy again. That's the family. This is how his house used to look. Basket full of fruits. Mari is adamant about having fresh fruit in the house. This must be what it looked like before, you know, something happened. Mari's clothes. They smell like clean laundry. In the mirror? Mom sleeps on the left, and Dad sleeps on the right. Mari's bed. And mine too when I had nightmares. That's the first time that Sunny has spoken in a dialogue box in first person. That's crazy. But cool. A very, very comfortable bed. It used to be Mari's, but she switched with me when she noticed I had trouble sleeping. Yeah, this is the first time we've ever heard, like, first person. Oh! Mari's on the piano again. Wow. Soak this all in while you can. Sunny, it's almost time. You've been through a lot these past few days. You must be tired. We all make mistakes. You've been running from this one for a long time now. It's tough to own up to them sometimes, but you'll forgive yourself, won't you? You can do this, Sunny. You worked really hard to get to this point. There's only one thing left to do now. Know that I'll always be watching over you, okay? As long as you remember me, I'll be here. Good kitty. Well, it's time. We're gonna go inside the closet. The one that we've been avoiding this whole time. There's something special in this closet. Do you want to unlock the toy box? There it is. The violin. Sonny's violin.
strands of long black hair entangled with its strings. And the sheet music. The paper is torn and wrinkled by blood. But it can still be read. All right. Are you ready? Because here we go. Er, wherever we have to go, that is. I think we'll have to go outside. The piano is empty. It's time. Something looms overhead. Let's check the mirror one more time, eh? All right. I think it's apparent where we need to go now. I guess it's not out here. It's time to take a trip down memory lane. No, seriously, that's what this place is called. Memory Lane. Very fitting name. Yes! I got just what I needed. Uh-oh. My hand doesn't look so good. You can't just tell people that, Kel. You have to keep a good poker face. Ah! When did you get behind me, Mari? I just got here, silly. Here. I brought cookies for everyone. Basil, are you taking a photo? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh man. Don't take a photo when I'm struggling like this. Oh, don't be so dramatic, Kel. It's just a card game. <laughs> huh? Another photo? What's so funny anyway? Is there something you're not telling us, Basil? Don't worry about it. You'll find out soon enough. You look at Kel's hand. It's a four, a six, and a six. Don't look, Sonny. It's... it's too horrible. Ah, I'm going to lose, aren't I? Mari's cookies are the best, huh, Sonny? Oh, Hero, don't be so humble. You know your cookies are way better than mine. Hey, that's subjective. Mari's cookies. Mari's cookies have much more love baked into them. I could eat them forever. Oh, stop it, Hero. You're embarrassing me. You look at Aubrey's hand. It's a 2, a 5, and a 10. Hmm. What do you think, Sonny? What should I do? Decisions, decisions. A king, a queen, and an ace. <laughs> Talk about luck, huh, Sonny? We all know who has the best hand, though. Basil's hand. It's a jack and an ace. Shh. Don't tell anyone, okay? Don't worry. A stuffed way of a girl with pink hair. An old TV. Kill brought it up here. I was pretty bummed when he found out he couldn't use it. The possibilities are endless. Indeed. Aubrey's stuffed toy, Mr. Plantag. A bunch of toys are scattered across the floor. Possibilities are endless indeed. An old toaster. It does not make toast. A calendar. Summer vacation is almost over. Cookbooks. Hero's cookbooks. Mari bought them for his birthday. Are you sure you want to go? One more thing. Plants made from paper. Aubrey and Basil made these together. You remembered the smell of freshly baked cookies. It smelled better knowing that Mari made it from scratch. The violin mended a part of itself. You can probably guess what we're going to have to do, then. We're going to have to go through some of these memories that Sonny has in order to repair his violin so that he can play it. The beach! And there! The watermelon's all cut up. Come on, everyone, take a slice. Yay! Thank you, hero. Look at you, such a big, strong man. Oh, not now, Mari. 
Woohoo! That's number five, I think. Nothing beats a nice juicy watermelon on a hot summer day. Hey, don't take a picture of me while I'm eating, Basil. Ah, I'm sorry, Aubrey. I just thought you looked cute. I'll show you when it's ready. Well, okay, fine. I trust you, Basil. Hey, Sonny, did you want to see the photo of Aubrey? And it's that photo. Nice. Aubrey is so cute, isn't she? Ugh. Ew, gross! Stop spitting seeds on me, Cal. Haha, <laughs> you have seeds all over your face. Well, how about this, then? Tch. Ew, stop it, Aubrey. You're going to give me cooties. <laughs> That's funny. Let them play, Hero. They're just teasing each other. Remember how we were when we were younger? I used to hide bugs in your desk all the time just to see your reaction. You were always so funny. Wait, that was you? Oh, whoops. Am I in trouble now, Hero? <laughs> Guys, come on, we're at the beach. We're supposed to be relaxing. Aw, oh, that's funny. The ordinary sandcastle. Relax, unwind, and enjoy. A bunch of beach toys. Fun for everyone. Basil's tote bag. It's a little small, but he likes it. My plastic bag. It's functional. No shoes at the beach. Walking on sand with shoes is the worst. Kel's backpack. It's way too big for him. <laughs> a fully eaten watermelon. It was delicious. Aubrey's pouch. It fits her perfectly. Mari's beach bag. It matches with Hero's. Hero's beach bag. Matches with Mari's. Called it. Mari's picnic basket. Would you like to save? Sure. Oh boy, we're an hour and a half into the video, and we're not even done with all the endings yet. Beach chair. Well, don't worry. The last two endings will be pretty close to each other. We'll have to- basically, we just do all the same stuff. Alright. I guess we better leave. Oh, let's check out the beach grass first. Man. Gotta love the beach grass, am I right? You remembered the taste of watermelon. It tasted more delicious when you ate it with everyone in this hot summer. The violin mended a part of itself. Alright. I think we have about four more of these to go. Oh, hey, the park! I think. Um, er, hmm. Looks like everyone fell asleep. I guess it's just us three now. Everyone must be feeling sleepy after such a big meal. Thank you for cooking for all of us, Hero. Aw, it was nothing. I'm just practicing a little. I'm glad you all liked it. One day, you're going to be a world-famous chef, and you're going to cook me lots of yummy food. Huh? Wait, I am? Of course you are. I believe in you, Hero. Well, if you say so. I'm glad you're using your camera more now, Basil. You seem to be enjoying your new hobby. Yeah, I guess it's pretty fun once you get the hang of it. Wait a sec. There's something strange in this photo. Hector! How could you? Oh, I know this. <laughs> oh, it's this photo. It is the park. Hey, Sonny. Can I poke your brain for a minute? I really love cooking and all, and Mari says I'm really good, but my parents want me to become a doctor. Do you think I should become a chef? Sure. <laughs> Maybe. We're still young. We should dream big, right? Oh, sorry. We should dream big, right? Hmm. But yeah. My mom's going to have something to say about that. Of course, Kel is fast asleep.
You know how Kel is. A plate, wiped clean. Hiro always makes sure that Kel finishes his food. Hey, Sunny. I took a photo of everyone earlier. Wanna see? And there it is without the tape. This could have been such a good shot, but Hector had to ruin the photo with his poop. Ah, <sighs> maybe I can cover it up with tape later. Oh, hey, little brother. Sorry, did we wake you up? You look so peaceful sleeping there. Reminds me of when you were just a baby. Bark, bark! Nice, we stepped in it. Mari's cookies. Oh. And we ate one. Nice. And here are the pinwheels. And now they're all together. And it looks like they have some of their old colors, too. Like, Basil's is green instead of being yellow. Or maybe it was green this whole time and I just saw it as being yellow because of the lighting or the stuff. Colors are weird, okay? They can look different depending on the surrounding colors. A half-eaten watermelon. The other half is in everyone's stomachs. Alright, let's go ahead and go to the next area. We'll leave. You remembered the feeling of sleeping in Mari's lap. It felt more comfortable because you knew that no matter what, Mari would always keep you safe. The violin mended a part of itself. We're about halfway through the memories. Not that I'm complaining that much. Oh, this is a good one. This one's cute. Hey, Sunny. Hey, Basil. What took you guys so long? Sorry. We got carried away playing this new game where you fight each other using these things called pet rocks. Basil! Basil! Take a picture of my new raincoat! Oh, okay. One sec. Do you like it, Sunny? It's my favorite color. Pink. Ew. Pink is a gross color. No, it's not, Cal. You're a gross color. <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. Oh, Sunny. That reminds me. Mari and I were talking about dyeing our hair together. Mari says she's going to dye your hair purple. Purple? You want to know what color I chose? Wait. Are you saying you want to dye your hair pink? Ew, that's weird. Why would you ever do that? I don't know. I just thought it'd be cute. Mari thinks so, too. Hm. I'll never understand you two and your crazy ideas. I think pink would look good on you, Aubrey. What do you think, Sunny? Sure. Sunny says he thinks pink is a great color. See? Even Basil and Sunny agree. You're the one who's weird, Cal. Psh, whatever. You said you and Basil were playing that new Pet Rocks game? Hmm, maybe I should get into it too. Hey, I know! Why don't we go to Hobbies to check if they have any new stuff? Yay! That settles it. One day, I'm going to dye my hair pink. But, maybe not anytime soon. My dad's kind of strict about these things. Wait a minute. We never saw her dad at her house. What happened to her dad? Do I want to know? I don't know. What is it, Sonny? Did you want to see the photo? You always ask to look at my photo whenever I take any pictures of Aubrey. Do I... maybe... sense a little crush? You feel your ears turning red. <laughs> don't worry, I won't say anything. My lips are sealed. Oh, are you going on ahead, Sonny? Don't worry about us, we'll catch up in a minute. Let's see. You remembered the sound of falling rain as it hit your umbrella. It sounded more calming knowing that you were standing next to your best friends. The violin mended a part of itself.
Yeah, these memories are really cute. I quite like them. <gasps> are you sure you don't want to be in the photo, Sonny? Sonny's a bit camera shy. We all have those days, don't we? It's okay, Sonny. You'll get used to it soon enough. <laughs> Wow, this cake looks so amazing! You've really outdone yourself this time, Hero. Yay! Thanks, Hero! I love strawberries. Basil, Basil! What wish are you going to make? Hey, you can't ask that, Aubrey. Or else, it won't come true. Huh? Is that how it works? Then in that case, I wish that Kel would get straight A's in school! Hey, you can't do that! Hmm, a wish? Ah... Uh... What should I wish for? I have everything I could want right here. Oh, I know. <laughs> I think I'll wish for... Just kidding. It's a secret. Aw, I want to know, though. Guys, if we don't hurry, the candles are going to melt. Are we all ready to sing? Yeah, you bet. Do you want to start us off, Mari? Sure thing. Ahem. <clears throat> And a one, two, three, four. Happy birthday to... Oh, they're just starting from the beginning of the song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Basil. Happy birthday to you. Woohoo! That's number six. Blow out your candles, Basil. Make a wish. Aw, that's one of my favorite of the pictures. You remembered Basil's smile as he was about to blow out his birthday candles. But you also remembered, as Basil made his wish, you made one too. At that time, you wished for everyone to be happy. The violin mended a part of itself. Oh? Now we have, like, snow falling or something. Is there one final memory we have to check? Looks like it. I love this song. Wow, a new basketball? Thanks, bro. No problem, Kel. You can thank me by doing a little better in school. Uh-huh, you bet. Okay, Sonny, it's time for you to open up your present. This year, you get just one present. From all of us. Probably doesn't look like much, but we all had to save up for it together. Yeah! Me and Basil even started selling cookies and lemonade in the summer. And Mari and I took a job at the bakery for a while, if you remember. And me? I had to deliver newspapers every morning for like three months. And you know how much I hate mornings. You know this might be a lot of pressure, but it's been a while since he quit playing the violin. Mari told us about how you always sit in the room with her when she's practicing the piano. I was even that one time I caught you trying to play your old mini violin, even though it was too small for you. Anyway, this was Basil's idea, but we all decided to pitch in for a really nice one. So, yeah! We hope you like it, Sonny. This is from all of us to you. Look at this. Ta-da! It's your very own violin! We hope you like it, Sonny. Go on and try it out. You felt a tingling in your fingers, as if on its own, your body ready the violin to play. You remembered the anxious feeling in your heart as you played the first note on your new violin. That it scared you, but you didn't mind. Because they believed in you. And no matter what, you didn't want to disappoint them. Because they were your friends. The violin regained its shape. 
I actually play the violin in real life, so I thought it was pretty cool that Sonny played it. He remembered the smell of freshly baked cookies. And those are all six of the memories. Alright, here we go. Sunny, you're finally here. After this point, it's going to be up to you. You know, before we met, I had a lot of trouble fitting in. Even after we all became friends, I always assumed you were going to leave me eventually. But, when the others were busy doing things, you always seemed to have time for me. You listened to me talk for hours and hours. I could always rely on you to do that. I know we missed out on each other for the past few years, but it doesn't have to stay that way. People always tell me I'm dense or I'm kind of careless, but I'll always be here if you're okay with that. Sonny, we know you're not someone who likes to take the lead. This has been really hard for you, but you have to put a little bit of trust in us, too. Just because you've done something bad doesn't make you bad. You've had to live with this pain for so long, You've been keeping it all inside. It might be easier to ignore your problems, but it's okay to cry about them, too. There's more good times to come. Life gets better. And you can be the one to make that happen. Whatever happens next is going to be your call. Though we're here for you because we want because you want us to be. And, you really hope this isn't goodbye. No matter how far you push your feelings down, they'll always come back somehow. And what you do with those feelings, that will be your truth. Hey Sonny, break a leg for me, alright? You can do this, Sonny. I promise to stick with you to the very end. Yeah, I think we'll always be best friends. That's okay with you too, right? Whatever you end up choosing, we will always want what's best for you. Keep us in your thoughts. We'll be cheering you on. Alright, we're going to save, probably for the last time in this playthrough, so cherish it. Oh! I can actually show you what the save files look like, since I, uh, ended up... I didn't want to do it before because it'd spoil it, but now we're at the end, and now we can see... Alright, we believe in you, Sonny. Alright. Are we ready? Looks like we are. An empty music stand. Do you want to place down your sheet music? Let's do it. You place the sheet music onto the music stand. The stage is ready for you. Do you want to play the violin? Alright, we're going to play the violin. Bravo! Bravo! I thought it was great.
Poor Sunny. Here we are again. Looks like we're back in white space. And there is Omori. Oh, shoot. Well, here you have it, folks. Amori himself is the final boss. And now it's time. Oh, we're not running from this, are we? Not that I was going to. Man, I love it when games do the trope of, like, the main character being the final boss. I always thought that was cool. We're cutting this pretty close. But as you know, Amori's not going to succumb that easily. Sonny studies his breathing. He remembered Kel's words. Friends? Friends are supposed to be there for each other. He deals quite a bit of damage. But nonetheless, we will fight him. Ooh, that's that yeah, it's hard. You've caused so much suffering, yet you do nothing. And so you've earned nothing in return. Your friends will never forgive you. They'll abandon you like you did them. And that's what you deserve. Amori did not succumb. This fight's proving to be quite a bit harder than we thought, eh? You remembered Aubrey's wish. I hope you can find some peace. Or, you know, some happiness. You tell yourself you don't want to burden others, but the truth is that you're selfish. You just don't want people to depend on you. When do you think about others? How long are you going to let people take care of you? You say you care, but you're a liar. You've never done anything for anyone else. You're useless. Less than useless. You're sick. People like you don't deserve to live. People like you don't deserve to live. Mori did not succumb.
Your friends are wrong about you. The person they love isn't you at all. You let them believe a lie to protect yourself. Oh, that is a gnarly hit. <sighs> you remember Hero's promise. Last time, we made the mistake of leaving each other when we need each other the most. This time, we'll stay together. You're nothing but a liar. And when they see the truth, they'll hate you as much as you hate yourself. If they know the truth, you'll never be able to regain their trust. No matter what you do, it will be hopeless. All you'll do is make things worse. You'll be better than just die. It would be better to just die. Omori will not succumb. You remembered Basil's hope. Maybe one day, things can go back to the way they were before. You killed Mari. She loved you, and you killed her. <laughs> Hero loved her, and you killed her. Aubrey loved her, and you killed her. Kel loved her, and you killed her. Basil loved her, and you killed her. You 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 should just die. Yeah, it's pretty un it's pretty apparent that that was an unwinnable encounter. But. However, do you wish do you want to continue? This choice is what separates the bad ending from the good ending. Both of them play out differently, but this is the point where they diverge. For now, we'll choose no. We won't continue.
Here we are again. In white space. Seems like everything is normal here. A light door casts a faint shadow. We'll open the door again. Just like the start of the game. I have a feeling things won't be good. Here we are. <laughs> Headspace, right? Yeah, let's go have an adventure. <laughs> Fun. Fun. It's a long way down. Do you want to jump? Well, close your eyes, you'll be here soon. It's your knees and she got Well, Omori with no Omori. Ah, that was something that happened. That was probably the uh, second worst ending in the game. Sunny just goes bye-bye, and we don't know what happens to Basil. Presumably he dies too. On second thought, that might actually be worse than the other ending. Like, sure... The other ending is pretty sad because... The other ending is very sad because you see Basil having offed himself. And everybody's upset. And then you go back, and then you move out. And you just forget about the whole thing. And then your friends are utterly distraught. But in this ending, Sonny is dead. And we can presume that Basil is also going to be dead as well. And his friends will be equally distraught. <sighs> but yeah, that was a ride, was it not? But of course, we're not going to just end on that, are we? No, no, no. There is one more ending in this game that's normal route exclusive, and it is, without doubt, probably the best ending you could get. And I saved it for last, so let's do that.
Such a cool pose. All right, and here we have only one thing left to do. I'm just gonna select this and let you all see what happens. Man, that absolutely destroys me every single time. Like, the first time I saw it, I cried. And I saw it again, especially the part... I was tearing up already, but the part where... The part where Mari saves Sunny, and then she just started crying, and... Ugh, that just killed me in the best way possible Hey! Yes! We got the flower achievement! We got flowers from everyone in town! Flowers from Cal and Hero's family. 
and Aubrey. Sending little get well sunshine your way. We miss you, Sunny. Flowers from Charlene's family. Dear Sunny, thank you for your help during the summer. Warmest wishes for a speedy recovery. Flowers from Mincy. Thank you for motivating me to keep sketching. Hope you feel better soon. Thinking of you always. Flowers from Shopkeep. Yo, Sunny. Just sending healthy vibes your way. You're always welcome at hobbies. Flowers from Joy's family. Hello, Sunny. Please get well soon. Thank you for tutoring Joy over the summer. She's doing very well in all our classes. A get well gift from Kim and Vance's mom. Get well soon, Sunny. Please get to know Kim and Vance better. They can use a good role model like you. Flowers from Chris's family. Hope you're taking it easy, Sunny. Hospital life ain't that bad. It's just universe telling you to watch more TV. Flowers from Jesse and Jesse's dad. Hope you're taking care of yourself, Sunny. Jesse's been talking to me a lot lately. You must have picked out a great birthday gift. A get well gift from Artist. Hi, Sunny. Hope we're taking it slow and easy. Get well soon and come visit. I need to ask you for some more opinions. Flowers from Sean and Karen. Wishing you well, Sunny. We're all finished moving into our new home, so please come visit sometime. Flowers from Bebe's family. Sunny, thanks for buying me that floor lamp. I never did see my son Billy again. I hope he's doing alright. Flowers from Sarah's family. Hey, Sunny. Thanks for saving my marriage. I'm sure you'll be back on your feet in no time. Flowers from Brent's family. Hey, Sunny. Hope you're feeling stronger every day. You're a big help to Brent over the summer. He's been doing excellent in school. A get well gift from Vance, Kim, Charlie, Angel, and the Maverick. Get well soon, Sunny. We'll be waiting for a rematch. Some get well gifts from Daphne and Bowen. Partake in this bread and regain strength. Then, play with us again. A very, very comfortable bed. But now is not the time to sleep. Oh, that's right. A get well gift from Kim and Vance's dad. Sending you some good wishes. Just like a big ol' rubber ball, you'll bounce back. Oh yeah, that's right. Now is not the time for us to sleep. Pay attention to the music, too. It's the motif from the pharmacy. And the TV. There's us. No something behind us anymore. A table lamp. The door is locked. These are probably all locked, but I'm curious if you can actually go in any of these. Looks like they're locked. Oh, hey. Sunny's friends, except they're the headspace versions. You can follow them if you so choose. Nothing bad happens if you do. It literally just leads to an empty corridor. Basil is that way. The door is locked. I assume this would take you up to the roof. He ain't going up there. <laughs> All of these are probably locked. Alright. Well, I don't see any point piddling around with these doors any longer. Let's go and see about Basil, shall we? In here. Ah, 
And there we have it. The good ending. Man. That was a ride. And it doesn't show you how Sunny's friends react to the news of the truth, so I guess it's more or less up to your personal interpretation. But personally, I like to think that Sunny's friends forgave him. They've been through so much already. And like, why wouldn't they at this point? I mean, sure, it'd be kind of awkward, but like... I'm sure they would. I thought it was clever how the game made plenty of allusions to that as well. Like, think about how crazy the plot would have been if, when Aubrey pushed Basil into the lake, Sonya and Hero hadn't been there. Or no, what if Hero hadn't come to save them in time, and what if Basil and Sonny both drowned? Man, something like that would have probably been like Omori all over again, if they had decided to not tell the truth. And that'd be on Aubrey and Cal. But yeah. This game is amazing. Now you see why I've been giving it so many positive words. And there you have it, the extra ending scene where Basil, you see, uh, and this screen's really good too. But yeah, that little extra post credit scene makes me think that it all turned out alright in the end. Sonny's friends, I think, definitely forgave him. And Basil, too. I don't know about if in that moment everything was all hunky-dory, but I don't think that everyone hates each other. That would be terrible. And there we are. That is the end of the game. And the end of the series. Actually, I've been telling a bit of a fib there. It's the end of the series, but it's not the end of the game. So yeah, soon I'm probably going to start a new series where we see what happens if we don't open the door in the beginning. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go scream into a pillow.